C. Clark saw what was already known. Clearly, there's an orbit out there mm -hmm. where it would take you as long to go around Earth as Earth takes to rotate. His brilliance was to realize that that might be where you put a satellite for communications. He correctly reasoned that if you're going to send radio communication between one continent and another, mm -hmm. let's say just United States and Europe, you might want to park a satellite in the middle of the Atlantic. Right. So that we send a satellite signal up, up and then, and then it, it comes sends back, it down. back down. And that, because otherwise the radio signals only go in straight lines and they would not reach Europe because Earth is round. What a terrible inconvenience <laughs> that is. Some of the earliest satellites launched were communication satellites. One of the more famous ones was called Telstar. When you're on that orbit, you are basically geostationary. Mm -hmm. You're moving in space, but not relative to the surface of the Earth that's turning with you. How high up is geosynchronous orbit? <laughs> uh, 22,000 miles above Earth's surface. Oh, wow. That's pretty, that's, that's a lot. Compared to a couple of hundred? Yeah, that's, I mean, they're far away.